right, guys, I'm going to read you a book today. Here's a list of vocabulary words that you're going to hear me use during this lesson when I'm reading you the book. If you hear it, I want you to try and listen and see if you can figure out what the definition for these words might mean. Okay, chapter one, visiting the sheep. Bessie, come here, girl. I called our biggest sheep over to the side of the pen. I glanced in their drinking trough and saw that there was only a bit of water left in the bottom. I loved all our sheep, but hauling water to their trough was one of my least favorite chores. Guys, how many of you have chores at home? Okay, what are some of your chores that you have related to your pets? Jericho? Poopers, poopers. Okay, you have to clean up after the mess that your, your dog makes. Okay, chapter three, no more practice. I didn't need to look at the trough to know that I'd been late to get Bessie's water and mum had come to do it for me. When you know you were supposed to do something and your parents catch you that you didn't do it, how do you feel about that? Gabby? A little disappointed in yourself. Disappointed in yourself? I was in big trouble. trouble. Mum sighed. Emily, you can't leave the sheep without water, she said, pointing to the trough. I'm sorry. I said. I know it's easy to get caught up in your writing and jumping, Mom said, but these chores are important. What was she supposed to do? What was her chore? Oscar? Uh, she was supposed to give the sheep water. She was supposed to give the sheep water. Chapter four, a trip to Pete and Sarah's. Guys, who, who are Sarah and Pete? Ray. Ray? Their closest neighbors. They're neighbors, okay. I hopped on a stool next to Pete and told him all about the new jump I'd just practiced. Beep, 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 beep. Pete laughed as I whipped around towards the noise and almost fell off my stool. When I turned, I noticed the light above the shed door was flashing. What's going on, I asked. That's one of my newest technologies, Peter said. Sarah was complaining that when she would yell out to the shed to tell me that lunch was ready, I wouldn't hear her. I realized that I needed something, system, or process a technology to help me solve the problem. So I rigged up a buzzer system. When Sarah wants me to come in, she can press a button I wired up in the kitchen. Then the buzzer sounds and the light flashes in the shed. I can see the light blinking even if I'm using a loud tool and I don't hear the buzzer. It keeps me out of trouble with Sarah, he said with a wink. How many of you guys have had a chance ever to work with electrical circuits? and wires and batteries and bulbs or... Okay, so guys, who can tell me, why did he design and create the buzzer and, and the light? So you can hear Sarah um, when lunch is ready? So that it would be a signal that Sarah was ready for him to go back. I wish I had something to keep me out of trouble, I said. Hmm, I thought, an alarm to keep me out of trouble. What an idea. Hey Pete, what if I had an alarm to tell me when the sheep's water trough is low? I'll definitely see a flashing light. And if I were close enough, I'd hear the buzzer. Could you help me make an alarm? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go back to the engineering design process and we're gonna fill out the first few together so that you guys understand what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna let you and your partners go ahead and fill out the rest of it. Okay, the first step, which started in chapter five, was ask. How did Emily complete the ask step in the engineering design process? Emily learned from who? who? Pete. Good job, guys. From Pete. Ian, can you repeat that again, please? You said circuits. Conductors. Conductors. Do you guys think that she would have been able to come up with a plan and create her alarm system if she didn't know these things? If she didn't know anything about circuits, conductors? No. No, right? Okay. For the last three steps, I'm going to have you refer to your book. What I want you guys to find out is how do they complete the plan step, the create step, and the improve step. Any questions? Emily and Pete created, so the 
they need the alarm and only the buzzer works. They made it better for the buzzer. They made it by connecting another wire to the light. Let's go ahead and come back together as a class and see if we can fill it out. Isaac, what's one of the things that they do for the plan step? Um, talk about how to make the alarm. They do. What do they actually do, though? Draw a diagram. Okay. What kind of a diagram? Because they're electrical engineers. Um, a schematic diagram. Okay. What did they do once they had their plan ready and they found the materials? They, Dominic? They made a model. They made a model. Okay. So the alarm consisted of both a buzzer to make a sound and light, just like Pete's alarm. Okay. And did they, did it work? When they created it? Yes. No, wait, no, not the first one. One part did. Oscar, go ahead and tell us what worked. Um, the buzzer. Okay. So they made a model the bu of the buzzer and the light. The buzzer worked, but the light didn't. Do you guys think that sh she would have been able to create this alarm without using the engineering design process? No. No. I do think that it's great that you start with a storybook because the storybook gives them an idea as to what they're going to be doing in the unit. And the storybook is almost like the glue that, that keeps everything together. No matter what lesson I'm on, I always refer back to the character and what the character did and how the character dealt with the engineering design process. And